Hi, everyone, along with Eddie Olchek, and you'll hear and see Ray Ferraro in just a moment. And I'm Mike Emrick, and we are tonight seeing a team that is on a bit of a downside. They have not been able to win consistently lately. Take us inside that locker room. What's it like? Well, you got to try to find some confidence, Doc, right now, because you are shaken. The pressure is on you. Your fans are on you. The media is on you. Your coach is probably all over you. But I think more than anything else, it's a mindset. Is Let's not really try to worry about winning the game because that is the end result, and we know that. But let's win the first period and see where we are after the first period of play. The Stars find themselves on a losing streak as of late, but they have been doing some good things. It's just a matter of time before they are rewarded for all their hard work. Maybe it's tonight. Let's look at the starting netminders. Antti Ranta, a backup through some of the glory days in Chicago and New York with the Rangers before coming to the Coyotes to be the main guy in the crease. This man's the man getting the nod tonight, has roughed up the crease, ready to begin the evening of facing rubber for the visitors. Eric Stahl, twice a 40-goal scorer with Carolina and a Stanley Cup winner. He also had Olympic gold for Canada and a career rebirth after a move to Minnesota. Look out, the hits are coming. Looks like he arrived at the rink in a bad mood. Maybe he missed his wake-up call. That early hit is an angry one. Dublin's got two on this one for tripping. I'm going to give credit to the puck carry here. He kept his legs moving. He forced the back checker to reach in and take him off his feet. Houston's power play unit gets its first opportunity. So their first power play gives them a chance to get one on the board here. Houston's got another win. A terrific scoring chance denied. And on top of that, another great stop. And ring more bells on that one. One after another. Nice work by Oduya. The Stars control the play in their own end. Gets that one on a cross. Shoots one. Save. And the referee's whistle has stopped play. The puck's dropped, and that's a great job tying the man up on that faceoff. Terrific determination by Oduya. Driving in from no man's land. Turned away with the stick. Clears the zone. Pass attempt to Spalling. Keeps one. He was standing in the lane and got some of it. The Shamrocks shoot it back out. Got some time to check the clock and prepare to defend again. This is an easy call for the official, Doc. Player made no attempt to play the puck. It just tripped up the attacking player. With the play going 5 on 3, everyone is expecting a goal here, but they can kill it off. Ooh, will this be special? One of the biggest mistakes. Score! A power play goal, and it's a biggie. can continue the momentum gained with this power play goal as they head out for the next shift. Sagan's goal has gotten his team ahead. Boy, you could just feel the energy in this building right now after that early goal. And they won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. Great job by the defenders to kill more time. Pitching it to Petrangelo. Slid to Sagan. And at an angle to Petrangelo. Stoner's got to shovel it out of there. He cleared that puck out of there. Looking to Sagan. Trying to go to Petrangelo. Steps in from the neutral zone. 
Read that play in his own end. A good clear, and now some relief in the line change. Tanev's got this one between the blue lines. There's a hooking call on this play, but he keeps going. The Shamrock's guilty of a minor penalty for using the stick blade. Just a hook. Uh, more times than not, Doc, anytime you reach in around a player's hands that has the puck, you're going to get a hooking minor. It is a five-on-three power play. This could be a key point in the game. They've been successful before docking the game here. Let's see if they can do it again. Move the puck, get the puck to the net. Three minutes, five seconds. They must retreat and start back again. Moving it to Teravina. Brings it in for an attack. Pitching this one to Stewart. He finally got it out of there. Puck shot out into the bench. Now the puck's cleared into the bench and somebody gets their hands on it, they'll grab it and flip it up over the glass to a fan who sits in the proximity right behind the bench. Tie up there and a good reach and possession. And a save! Skate kick out of the scrum. Shot it back out of his own end. Passing one off now to Oduya. He's got that pass at the point. Puck is cleared and fresh guys can get back out there. Puck is thrown to Terravine. Directing that one to Camilleri. Gains that offensive line. An enormous hit. One way to wear down your opponent, play physical. That's exactly what happened there. Houston's got possession in the defensive zone. Laid on to Camilleri. You couldn't have chosen a better guy for that shot, or apparently, a better guy to stop it. Spalling's taken a huge hit, but he's continued to make the play. Nice face-off work. Slugged back out again by Stoner. Clock leading down on the power play. Houston's winging it at neutral ice. Let's it go. Outstanding save off a chance. A shot, and yet another save. How does he do that? Really easy stop for the goaltender. Down in the butterfly, he's able to control that shot. A tad over five minutes have been skated here in the first period. Only one goal hanging on the board so far. So it's 1-0. Houston's power play can't feel terrible. They did score one. Feeds the point. On to Tanef. Threatening an attack to Sagan. And he gets it back. They're getting all organized now. To the point with it, to Sagan. Forks it to Petrangelo. Shoots. Oh, he got in the way of that one. It's blocked. Can't find a link. Snapping a pass to Upshaw. In with it now. Outstanding body contact. Petrangelo's never been shy about staying in the guts of the game. He's a skilled player, but he's not afraid to throw his body around. Sagan's had a fantastic year offensively. He has among the highest total points in the league. He gets to the front of the net, and he has an excellent shot. Stewart's blocked so many pucks over the last couple of games, you would think you'd like to stick handle one of them once in a while. Houston swinging on from center. Stays along the boards. He's got it. Muscled right off. The Stars ready an attack back in the defensive zone. Skates it into the zone. Chip to Oduya. Propelled to Setaguchi. And now it's directed to Yurko. Nicely received at the point. He wore that puck on a hard shot. Saved there. Good solid defensive play with the stick. Lid to Setaguchi. Shot on. 
Wonderful stop. Laid on to Petrangelo. Forcing attention in deep. Rips one. Oh, great save there. Not much room to work, but he got a good shot away. He had his eye on the puck the whole time. What a stop. Shoots. Gloved. And he holds on and stops playing. Goalies have to make a half a dozen great stops in a win. This is one on a beautiful move, but there is nowhere for the puck to go. Puck drop, tie up, and help from the winger. And they are in. Fires! He gets in close to the net and fires it past the goaltender with a snapshot. Yeah, you bet. It's a great finish, but the play is made in the middle with the pass over to the shooter. Beautiful assist. Face-off win, and now what will they do with it? Oh, what a hit that one was! The Trangelo is often the focus of other teams' physical play. He's going to have to pick himself up after he got trucked there. Dowell's skating ability gets him into position here to deliver a crushing hit. Puck dropped, and the winger stepped in to help. That's big. Takes that pass. Gives it on a cross from the point. May not have intended it, but it hit him. He cut that one off in the defensive end. Boomerangs it ahead to Hemsky. That's just a good, effective close-off. I don't think he's going to take that road again. He got crunched on the wall. Shoots! Wonderful save. What a skill level there. He's locked in now. Great save. He is shut right off. The Stars skated up on the side. Points it. And he shoots one. And a save. Makes the stop and holds for the whistle. The Stars always want to play a physical game, and their leader is right here. He always has among the highest hit totals in the league. He is a pinball on ice. First period has been played. An interesting start to all of this. Continuation in just a moment. Two goals scored and both by the same team. The game, please remember to be alert at all times in our seating area. Even within the game safety measures, there are moments when a puck can be propelled into the... Yurko's goal came late in that period, and it may be a backbreaker. Time will tell as we head to break. Second period about to begin here. Let's take a look back at the first. What stuck out for you? Dublin spent the last period defending, and that hasn't helped them score. If they can get more possession time, they'll be able to get better chances going forward. Period two has started. Wonder if it'll be like the first one. Great job on a cut pass. Can start the attack going in the zone. Didn't get a thing of that. And the pickup. The Stars have gotten out of their own end. Pass attempt to Trocek. Important interception there. Shoots one. Wonderful save. Rent has had a very good night, but he's had long stretches of inactivity. And between shots, his team has put up a couple of goals. Pitching it to Hedman. Looking to Upshaw. On to Hedman. 
Trying to go to Camilleri. Gains the zone. Shoots. Terrific save there. Didn't look like he had anything to shoot at, and he made it tough. The shooter shaking his head. Great save. That one fired down. The defense will win the race, and icing is called. This is frustrating. The goaltender makes a save by getting just a chunk of the shot. Just a hair over five minutes off the clock. Two goals have been scored, both by one team. Moving it to Tara Vine. Takes it in from the neutral zone. May not have been intentional, but he got it anyway. Gathered up by Upshaw. Pitching this one to Tara Vine. Ripped along to Sagan. Up to the point. Cut that pass in his own end. One-timer. Great save. Passing one off now to Tara Vine. Puck is thrown to Upshaw. A collision. Oh, he's been looking for that hit all night. Directing that one to Pouliot. A shot. Use that big goalie stick well. Cuts between the blue lines. Really good cut of the pass. That's a really dangerous area with the puck, and he turned it over. Now the opponent has a short ice to attack. That puck has to go forward into a safe area 100% of the time. He's got that point pass. Big hits in open ice. This was part of their game plan. Be physical. Gathered up again by Spalling. Shot! Hung right over him and couldn't get it past. The shooter thought he had a chance, but the goaltender robs him. What a stop. Houston's played very well in this tight game. Their goaltender's going to have to stay sharp. He's not had a lot of shots to deal with, Doc. Drop, face off one, and the winger stepped right in. Tremendous hit. We thought it would be a physical game, but not this physical. Keeps it in the zone with that interception. Steps across that line. To the point it comes. Shoots it off. Ooh, what a break. Shot hit the man. Smart recovery by Hemsky. Went to the backhand. Great stick save. And they clear. Good quick poke check there. Shutout positioning by Hemsky. Chip to Setaguchi. Looks over his options from the corner. Gives it over to the point. That puck was obstructed by a screen. Great cut. Houston's on the move in the defensive zone. Passes into unhindered terrain. Tries to get it on net. Save. Tries to get it over the line. Right there on the money, the left wing pass. Into the last minute of the second period. Clock continues to get to the smaller numbers here, but there may be time for another rush. Gives it to the point. Got a piece of that one. Well, they got to be a little tired after these first two periods of play, so they'll get a rest as we start to think ahead toward period number three. Don't forget to check out our top ten moments in hockey history. You can find it on our website, posted on by you. Ronta's working on a masterpiece. And here's an example as we go to break. Two periods played, one period ahead. What are your thoughts so far, Eddie? Dublin's down, Doc, after two periods of play. It's going to be really difficult for them to get back in this game if they don't clean up their turnovers. Opening face-off of the third period has started it. Slides it to the point. Did not get anything up. 
Shamrocks have the puck at center ice. Perry's projects come around with his stick. That play would make Paul Bunyan even smile. Houston's two-minute penalty is a minor, and the call is hooking. This was okay about 10 years ago. Not anymore. That's a hooking call. The Shamrocks are activating their power play unit for the first time. You can turn the tide of a game on a power play, whether you score or not, by getting shots, by getting traffic, and by keeping the puck in the offensive zone. Score! Outstanding job on the power play. Talk about extra effort. That's an amazing play from his knees. The goalie can only bail out so many times. He gives it everything he's got on this attempt. Just can't get to the puck. Dublin's deficit is now only one. And there's time remaining here in the third period to get it even. It's dropped. They lock up. And that's a good job by the wing team. Intercepted that one at an important place. Propelled to Perry. Let's it go. That puck hit him on the way to the net. Puck covered, whistle blown. A little under three minutes have passed. Shamrocks have scored one here. Let's see if they can get another. They won that draw. Oh, that's more than your normal rub out. Oh, that's a spectacular hit. Alone. Stewart's clearly in some anguish here. Pump check on the breakaway. Snapping a pass to Eric Stahl. Picks it up in his own end. And he steps across the line. Pass attempt to Crosby. Steals it in the attacking zone. Two guys together with force. Big force. Now it's directed to Stoner. Leads that charge into the zone. Good save. It's going to have to be something tougher than that to score. The Stars are driving it from the wing. A shot. Oh, stick save. Dublin's back in its own end, trying to work forward. Shifts to the backhand and shoots. The Stars, through the neutral zone, continue on. Dogged determination there by Oduya. Nice play with the stick. Nothing more will come. The Shamrocks are skating it up at neutral ice. Nice work done with the stick there. Terrific determination by Hedman. This game has been tightly contested the entire way. I can't see either team stretching this out at this point. A close finish is at hand. Gliding behind, looking. Slid back across from one point to the other. And a save! Stewart's injury is apparent as soon as you see this hit. The collision was fierce. A little over eight minutes left to go in the third. And it is two to one, the score in this one. Clean win on the draw. The Stars are at the wing in neutral ice. From the outside, that hits somebody. Is able to move on in. A howitzer, great glove grab. We've certainly enjoyed this long homestand, but there's only one more game left in it. So make sure that you attend that one before the team heads out of town. Spallings lost the draw. Maybe in this close game, it doesn't matter. Rattled deep to Dowell. Advanced by this game. Pouliot's looking to lead. Crosses that line. Oh, and he's hammered. 
hammered. I like that he's trying to create space by throwing the body around. This is a way to change momentum in a hockey game. Pitching it to Spalling. Looking to set a Gucci. Swept on to Spalling. Oh, my, what a hit. Slid to Setaguchi. Laid on to Hemsky. Scooped up by Puglia. Trying to go to Stoner. Moving it to Setaguchi. He just flat out missed it. And that one's passed up the wing to Taravina. A shot. Score! A huge goal, and his team is up by two. He is right there in the low slot. It doesn't waste any time snapping that home. Well, oh, that's got to be disappointing, eh, Edzo? It looks like he's got the puck stopped, but it trickles past him into the net. He keeps winning draws, and his team gets possession, and they're winning the game. I wonder if there's a connection there. Save there. Setaguchi's position here allows him to deliver a devastating hit. We are in the last minute of regulation time. Smart recovery by Hemsky. Carries it on in from center. Goes to the backhand. Wonderful stop. Very important steal for him. Pitching this one to Upshaw. Passing one off now to Crosby. Takes that pass behind the net. Looks out in front. Taken to the corner by Perry. Great shooting lane. Big shot from the point. 14 to go. It's dumped in. Net open. Score! That one should put the icing on the cake. That's a good feeling on the bench. You've locked it up now with the empty netter. That's a face-off win. Scored by number nine, Scotty Young. Flings it. Great save. And the game is over. Well played in one. The Shamrocks had startled their fans with an impressive winning streak. But tonight, it came to a crashing end as they were blown out. Overconfidence comes to mind as a reason that this team, who has been on a really nice win streak, sees it all come crashing down. So ends another game and another telecast. We hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. For Eddie Olchek and Ray Ferraro, Mike Emmerich saying good night.